Reducing Workplace Bias The groupthink bias refers to the fact that the tendency to seek uniformity within a group becomes an influence that stifles free thinking and mutes individual creativity and expression. The groupthink bias can stifle creativity and the purpose of group intelligence by elevating uniformity above creativity. This can defeat the whole purpose of having a collective of individuals trying to solve a problem. The lesson and the meditation that accompanies it will increase your awareness of groupthink, minimize group pressure, and encourage independent thinking. Groupthink is the tendency of group members to prematurely coalesce towards a consensus without a full discussion or consideration of all the various possible solutions. The group as a whole has an influence on each individual member, often inhibiting them, consciously or otherwise, to agree with each other. This often occurs because there is a misguided desire for group harmony or conformity which then results in a dysfunctional decision-making process and even an irrational outcome. Because group members attempt to minimize conflict, they deliberate without suitably critical evaluation of alternative views and by actively suppressing dissenting viewpoints. We all have heard or experienced the authority bias in which the CEO's views aren't questioned or challenged either for fear of alienating him or her or on the suspicion that the decision has effectively been made, so there's no real point in further discussion, especially if it can cause dissension or even personal criticism. This then raises the importance of effective intragroup communication. Any effective and authentic communication depends on creating the right environment. Whether in a group or between two people, an effective communication environment is one in which all participants feel it is safe to express any views without fear of retribution, unfounded criticism, ridicule, or abuse. If the communication environment is not safe in these ways, then you could be assured that the motivation to be forthright will be severely damaged. Indeed, in an environment where such trust and respect are not prevalent, the motivating force behind any communication will be an assessment of the consequences of speaking out about anything. The effective communication environment is not just the function of the leader or most senior member of the group, it applies to all members of the group. The leader may be the most amenable person willing to fairly listen to any comments with respect. But if there's just one other member who can't do that, then the group culture is damaged, possibly very severely. In addition to the environment, there are some people who just aren't very comfortable expressing different or unconventional views. The social dynamic of the group can be overwhelming, and they just can't bring themselves to challenge the status quo or popular view. Such people might not be a good group member, and one might look for other ways for them to communicate their ideas. Other inhibitors to an effective and authentic group culture can also include political correctness. Political correctness is an antidote to an effective group dynamic, as it once again poisons the opportunity for frank and honest dialogue. Needless to say, groupthink can be very damaging to any organization, leading to poor and even irrational decisions that are made to satisfy egos or bow to disruptive influences. It is critical, therefore, that any organizational group address these issues and aim to create a group ethic of authenticity, respect, trust, and lack of fear. Meditation Demands for solidarity can quickly turn into demands for groupthink, making it difficult to express nuance. Roxanne Gay
Leaders can get stuck in groupthink because they're really not listening, or they're listening only to what they want to listen to, or they actually think they're so right that they're not interested in listening, and that leads to a lot of suboptimal solutions in the world. Jacqueline Novogratz We need people to point out groupthink. We need people to point out stale, old, dumb thinking. And we sometimes need to do that when it's considered dangerous, strange, or by some, offensive. And we should be, all of us, trying to protect that. It's really important. John Lovett Relax and allow your mind to open to experience and to possibility. As you drift deeper, let memories of your participation in groups gradually infuse your consciousness. Has your participation in a group ever been truly authentic, with all members being trusting, respectful, has your participation in a group been marked by personal agendas, egos, and vested interests? Have you ever felt pushed to go along with the group in the name of solidarity? Demands for solidarity can quickly turn into demands for groupthink, making it difficult to express nuance. Demands for solidarity can quickly turn into demands for groupthink, making it difficult to express nuance. A great team is one that has solidarity through authenticity. A great team is driven by respect, trust, and honesty. When leaders want to impose their decisions on a group, they are missing out on potentially critical input. When leaders want to impose their decisions on a group, they might be getting their way, but they are also alienating the team members. Imposing a decision on a group isn't leadership. It's a dictatorship. Leaders can get stuck in groupthink because they're really not listening, or they're listening only to what they want to listen to, or they actually think they're so right that they're not interested in listening. And that leads to a lot of suboptimal solutions in the world. Leaders can get stuck in groupthink because they're really not listening. Leaders get stuck in groupthink because they're listening to only what they want to listen to. Leaders get stuck in groupthink because they actually think they're so right that they're not interested in listening. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to authentic living. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to effective communication. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to an effective team and brilliant decision-making. Groupthink is dangerous and can lead to damaging decisions. Groupthink makes a group obsolete. If you have a team with groupthink, think about dissolving the group. People need to point out groupthink. People need to point out Stale, old, dumb thinking. 
People need to point out, groupthink, even when such honesty is considered dangerous, strange, or even offensive. All of us should be trying to protect against groupthink. It's really important. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to authentic living. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to effective communication. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to an effective team and brilliant decision-making. Groupthink discourages critical thinking and deep analysis. A team meeting isn't a party where everyone needs to get along and have a good time. An effective team meeting can be difficult when it is based on trust, honesty, respect, and authenticity. But those qualities will make any difficulty amazingly productive. Great decisions aren't made by like-minded people. They're made by individuals encouraged to be trusting, respectful, courageous, and honest. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to authentic living. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to effective communications. Trust, respect, and honesty are the keys to an effective team and brilliant decision-making. Reducing Workplace Bias